So typical situation that when students see a question like this, they instantaneously freak the fuck out because they don't know what they're looking at in the image. Relax, okay? This is an image of dysgenesis of the seminiferous tubules. No, you are not expected to know this image of histo for USMLE. I just decided to increase the aesthetics uh, for the sake of it. Why not increase the views on this video from eight to 12, maybe if I'm lucky. So, but in all seriousness, we have a male with infertility. He's six foot two, okay? And we have his wife who has a child from previous relationship, implication being she is not the one who has uh, the infertility problem. He is. So you say, image, no idea what I'm looking at, plus tall male who has infertility. That could be Kleinfelter syndrome, okay? Even if you don't know the image, you just say, tall male, and they're showing me a testicular biopsy, implication being there's a problem on this biopsy, more than likely. So that sounds like Kleinfelter syndrome. So 47XXY, all right, and uh, unicoid, so tall, unicoid body shape, unicoid being um, feminine, okay, wide hips, and he's going to have small testicular volume and a small phallus, phallus being the medical term for penis. And so we look at choice A, Wrong fucking answer, all right? So androgen insensitivity syndrome is actually going to be, rather than 47XXY, it's going to be 46XY, so a male, uh, karyotypically, but phenotypic female. So if they want androgen insensitivity syndrome, what they're going to tell you is 16-year-old girl comes into the GP with her mom. So they say girl. They'll say 16-year-old girl comes into the GP with her mom, uh, she has not yet had a menstrual period, and they'll tell you that her tanner stages are normal. So they'll say like she's tanner stage four, and then they'll go on to say that she has scanty or absent pubic slash axillary hair. Okay, that's androgen sensitivity syndrome. If they give you that same presentation but tell you there's coarse pubic or axillary hair, they're telling you that's malarian agenesis, which would be 46XX. Okay, a lot we can talk about. I know it's really fucking confusing, okay? But if they give you 16-year-old girl who comes in not having had a menstrual period and she has normal tanner stages, and they, they say a uh, uh, physical examination shows a vagina that ends in a blind pouch, okay? And then they tell you that the pubic and axillary hair is scanty or absent. Answer, androgen sensitivity syndrome, 46XY, karyotypic male, but appears phenotypically female. If they say coarse, pubic and axillary hair, that's malarian agenesis, 46XX, okay? So karyotypically and phenotypically uh, female. Um, I don't want to get too sidetracked because this question is about Kleinfelter syndrome. We can talk for 47 minutes about all the fun details, okay? I'll just try to stay concise here. But the point is, there's no androgen, androgen uh, receptor insensitivity in Kleinfelter syndrome. Choice B, decreased serum luteinizing hormone, also wrong answer. Because of dysgenesis of the seminiferous tubules, we're going to have decreased testosterone, which means decreased negative feedback at the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary. So GnRH goes up, LH is going to go up. Okay, so you're going to have high luteinizing hormone and uh, high luteinizing hormone secondary to the low testosterone in Kleinfelter syndrome. And we can look at choice C here, decreased serum sex hormone binding globulin. Wrong answer. So sex hormone binding globulin is produced by the liver. It's the protein that carries androgens and estrogens in the blood. Don't confuse sex hormone binding globulin with androgen binding protein, which is produced by Sertoli cells in the testes. So androgen binding protein in the testes, that functions to bind locally testosterone to keep locally in the testes androgen levels higher, proportionally higher, so that you can get spermatogenesis. That's androgen binding protein. Sex hormone binding globulin is produced by the liver, and that just allows androgens and estrogens to travel around the blood. Uh, it's about high 90s, 98, 99% plus of androgens and estrogens are bound to sex hormone binding globulin in the blood. And uh, sex hormone binding globulin will be increased, not decreased in Kleinfelter syndrome. Testosterone's low, so sex hormone binding globulin goes up to compensate. Uh, I also just double checked it on uh, Google before writing this question, just to be very fucking sure what I'm talking about here. Uh, so it's increased sex hormone binding globulin, not decreased in Kleinfelter. Uh, fallopian tubes, 
D, wrong fucking answer. It's just a very like appetizing distractor, right? Uh, but there are not going to be uh, fallopian tubes in Klinefelter syndrome. Choice E, increased serum follicle stimulating hormone is our correct answer because we have because we have dysgenesis of the seminiferous tubules, we're also going to have dysgenesis of the Sertoli cells, which means decrease inhibin B. So we get decreased negative feedback uh, at the anterior pituitary hypothalamus. Not only is the GnRH going to be up, as I said before, but your FSH is going to go up. High FSH is really, really important when we have primary hypogonadism of any kind. So even in females, like if you have Turner syndrome, they want you to know FSH is high. Okay, and then Klinefelter syndrome, uh, FSH is high. And just in general, uh, like in menopause, um, FSH is high, okay? And premature ovarian failure, FSH is high. So they really, really like high FSH when you have uh, a gonadal problem, okay? Obviously, menopause is physiologic. It's not, a pro it's not pathology, but uh, that's the driving point for this question. You need to know some of your physiology for the repro that in uh, Klinefelter, up arrow. FSH, okay? And uh, you're going to have uh, up arrow LH because of the decreased testosterone. So a lot we can talk about, okay? Uh, I don't want to make this a 19-minute clip. I'm obviously going to make more clips where we talk more about physio, more about the path uh, of other conditions, okay? Just keep this concise. So if you liked this question, subscribe to my channel, okay? And I appreciate your time. That's it.